Hello, this is Joe Pryor of the virtualrealestateteam.com in Oklahoma City. Most of my business is investment real estate and I work with various types of investors. And you know, I, I've been in a market here in Oklahoma City for a long time that's had its ups and downs, although it's been a very steady uh, market from about 2000 and on for the last 14 years. We've seen no real high highs, but we've not seen any low lows. But you know something, the economy is, is something where when we're applying it to real estate, it is something that's local and hyper-local. And so, you know, if you're an investor and you want existing property, you're not looking for new homes and you're maybe looking for a house built in 1950 or 1960, uh, maybe in an excellent location closer to downtown, I wanna to talk to you about a concept called gentrification because it's going to affect it the way that you buy. Now, real estate, like anything else, has a risk factor. Uh, it's on the low end of the scale, certainly, uh, as, as a risk because real estate right now is extremely affordable. Uh, the Oklahoma City market is having a huge surge in rental rates, uh, very, very low vacancy. And so it's a fairly low, low uh, a risk factor uh, if you're looking to put your money somewhere. Uh, but what gentrification means is if we take those anchor neighborhoods, and there needs to be an anchor neighborhood that has some prestige, maybe it's an historical preservation district, maybe it has some, you know, kind of a cachet about what it's all about. You know, these are the markets that are really going to always recover the fastest. They may not appreciate the fastest, but they're going to always get better and better and better. And we do have those markets. And what happens is when they get so expensive, then what people start looking around for a secondary market. They start looking for a similar home, maybe not quite as nice of a neighborhood, but again, a fairly low risk neighborhood. And they're going to pay maybe 25, 30% uh, less for the same style of home as they do in the primary neighborhood. But eventually what happens there is that, you know, that starts uh, moving higher and all of a sudden the secondary neighborhood is maybe not the good investment for you as a homeowner or as an investor. And then now what we're talking about is a tertiary, uh, a third level, a third tier neighborhood. This is where risk may be a little bit higher, but it may also be where you're looking at that area and you're spotting trends. You're seeing that that primary neighborhood is going great. It's doing wonderfully. Uh, it's just perfectly built out. There's not a distressed house in the place. Uh, and then you see that it's affecting the areas around it. And you're going, you know, this is really great. This is the kind of area I want to be in. And then you also look at commercial. You go up and down the streets around there and you say, well, is it populated with bars? And you go by and you say, well, no, it's also got fantastic restaurants. It's got unique stores. Everything is fixed up. And so you see that the commercial is great. You see the schools around it. You see the ingress and egress in terms of access to freeways. Uh, access to shopping centers and you're going, I really believe in this. These tertiary markets is where the gentrification works the best if you're willing to take a little bit of a risk. And the way that you do this is I typically drive around and I go into these tertiary markets and I go, all right, I'm gonna go up and down these blocks. I'm gonna see if there's any recent remodeling. And I've seen literally in one year a street go from nobody is remodeling and rehabbing a house to all of a sudden seeing eight houses on that block. That starts giving me confidence. That allows you to do uh, something that is a classic, which is buy low and sell high. Understand gentrification and understand that is a great place where opportunity lies to get that deal that you've always been looking for. This is Joe Pryor of the virtual real estate team.com in Oklahoma City, where we deliver traditional real estate values at the speed of technology.